Or do we say that's silly talk? We go for ironclad right now. Let's go for ironclad. Yeah, you call the skip. Yeah, I I think I saw. Ooh, so guys, I've been really liking transform two cards. You guys saw that run right where I had infinite blades finisher on silence. I was hoping to get something decent with ironclad. Uppercut whirlwinds. Tell me that's not a good transform. That's ninety nine gold worth of cards. That's fantastic. In fact, I want to go for elites. Which I always want to do, but I mean, now I definitely want to go for elites. I'm going to go for three elites. One, two, three elites. Fantastic. What luck, right? So transform is like, it's variants, but most of the time you're removing your worst cards in your deck and allowing it to get something that's run defining, which in this case is not super run defining, but it's a nice way to push the deck forward. Pummel Twin Strike Flex. Okay, so I think Flex works well with the Whirlwinds. I think Pummel's not bad. I think Twin Strike's not bad. I'm gonna go for the Flex Whirlwinds. Even though Pummel is probably the better play, or maybe even... Maybe even the, um... What's it called? Maybe even the Twin Strike was better, but... Flex makes sense. Havoc or Boomerang. Um... I'm not really liking any of these cards, I'll be honest. Sir Boomerang, I guess, makes sense with the flex. We have too much offense. I'm going to go ahead and skip. We're going against Hexagos, so we want things like Disarm. Speedrunner deck so far? It is. We're speedrunning today, guys. You know what? I actually want to try this. I want to do Ironclad speedrun. On a sense of a team. Because I play really fast, and I think I can definitely play fast enough to get it. I just, whether or not I can... So Bludgeon seems decent. We'll take it. I mean, I have a very offense-heavy deck, I'll tell you that much. This deck's bananas. Is she leaving her bed toys around the house? <laughs> wait, wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Inflame is perfect, but, um... Like I said, right now, we're gonna upgrade Uppercut. Right now, we are definitely really offense-heavy. So what's worth it, Uppercut or Bludgeon? So this is doing two weak and two vulnerable. This is doing 34 damage. I feel like the weakened and the vulnerable, also the fact that I get a strike after is, is much better. No contest. Let's keep him vulnerable. To destroy at least, yeah, we're going for as many least as possible. Read above, I'll read above right now. GG, bludgeon. Frozen egg, not bad. Uh, another whirlwind. Hey, wait guys, we have frozen egg for fire breathing. Let me see what you're doing it. Is that big white thing, but what is that big white thing behind me? Wait, are you trolling me, making me look behind myself? What are you, what are you seeing? You're trolling me, aren't you? I just got trolled. Damn it. Oh, you trolled me. You got me. You got me. You got me. I mean, luckily, you don't realize that I put the dildo behind there that's mine, and I want you guys to see it. I probably shouldn't say that because that's not even true. Not even remotely true. I'm going to go ahead and try. In flame. This could be Lagalubin or it could be the Triple Century. In both of these, buys me time to buy do in flame. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Damn, this is kind of juicy. It's kind of juicy. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do bash first, and then we're gonna do in flame flex whirlwind to start it off. That's not bad, right? Not a bad start. Wow. Okay, this is one of those turns where we're just like, what is going on here? Let's look for uppercut. Okay. Um, did we bludgeon or we just bash? You know, there's a chance we find bludgeon again because we're about to cycle our deck and then this would be good. We should be full defending, but... <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and defend once. Took a lot of damage here. It's actually a lot more damage than I wanted to take. War paint. Take a true grit, and hopefully this true grit gets hit by the war paint. Mm. True grit's gonna be good for hexa ghost. Uh, let's go to the left side so we can get a rest in. No, we don't want a rest, right? Bag of prep's fantastic, especially with flex whirlwind. Uh, let's upgrade the true grit. I made that mistake before where I didn't upgrade true grit. Okay. 
In Flame Morrowind, is that the play? That does 16 damage. That's the play. Okay. Metallicize is fantastic. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Reaper? Yeah, that happens. I mean, you, know, you know they do that on purpose. They do that for attention. Don't be fooled. Trust me. They, they're doing that on purpose. Uh, we could do power through just to have some more block. And we have Truebeard already to manage the power through. Or we could just do armaments to get some more upgrades in general. Or we could do Reaper because we kind of have a strength deck going for us a little bit. We got the flex. We got the inflame. Reaper could be good later on. I close I close the line for one minute and I pick True Grit. Yeah, I love True Grit. I mean, the stone is not bad either. One dexterity. There's also another shop here, but I'd rather go for the elite. So I can just save my money altogether. Mm, close line. We already have uppercut. We don't need the close line. Yeah, I saw a bludgeon. Reaper kind of is very expensive in its own right, considering we have uppercuts, bash, and bludgeon. Reaper's another two cost. It's kind of clunky. I kind of like uh, good instincts a little bit. So that means I can play good instincts and use bludgeon on the same turn and feel a little bit better about it. On top of that, I have metallicize. So metallicize, good instincts, plus bludgeon or whatever expensive things I want to do. Gives me kind of nice block. And then power through is pretty decent as well. So good instincts is not as good against the chosen. It's not as good against the time meter, etc. But it's also not that great in general. I mean, it's only four block. I think we go for power through. And we remove a strike. I know this probably seems kind of wonky for you guys. And, I, and I'll be honest, that probably was not the best. Do we heal? We got the max. We got the max speed because we don't want to. Well, if it's gremlin now, we want. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. We'll take the nine and just do straight up bludgeon. I'm building Snake Eye deck. Yeah, I like Snake Eye. If I have high cost cards, then Snake Eye is perfect. Mind you, didn't you ever reverse? What did I just read? I just read something kind of funny. Tattoo age. How does that, how does that work out for you? I've tried that before, and um, I don't know why. How did the, the stream turn into this direction? I don't know. This stream went to a very interesting direction. Did we just bludgeon this? No. All right, thanks for looking pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and put one zero so people know. They're coming in, they're saying, oh, it's one zero. This guy's impressive. Not really. One zero, it's not even a streak. That's just a win. Guy, at least two or three. It's got, it's got, I'm updating the title for you people who, just in case they want to know. Another Metallicize, which is upgraded already because of uh, Frozen Egg. Or Disarm, which is fantastic against Hexa Ghost. And Disarm is amazing in Act 2. I mean, Disarm against the... Let's say... Snake plants, shelled parasites, book of stabbing, time eater, gremlin leader. I mean, it goes on, right? It goes on. Disarm or metallicize. So metallicize is upgrade. Metallicize plus or disarm. Disarm. Let's go ahead and upgrade disarm as well. It's that good. It is that good of a card. Mm, yeah, I think this is perfect because we get the uppercut for the weekend and the disarm. So he's probably gonna do what? How much damage? No damage. Very nice. Let's go ahead and keep him uh, vulnerable. Let's go ahead and get the metallicize and strikey strikey. So we should have enough damage if we keep him vulnerable and get some bludgeon hits. We're gonna be fine. So far, the damage is not that great. So I'm not going for perfect. Throwing that out there. Got double fire pie if we need it as well. So that's what I'm talking about. We got the, the bludgeon. I mean, obviously I want a true grit, the burn. I also want to bash, but... So there's a dilemma here. I want to true grit the burn so it doesn't clog up my cycle. And I want to bash to keep him vulnerable, but this is 55 damage. I feel like that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if getting rid of the burn is more important. Well, he mentioned there was a dildo or something like that. I, I guess, but I, I did kind of make it. I took it all kinds of funny directions. 12 damage is manageable. I 
If I decide to make a video out of these, out of these, uh, these runs, it's gonna be a little hard now that we're talking about butt plugs and dodos. It's gonna be, it's definitely not family friendly. It's not a family friendly video so far. Definitely gonna be demonetized. There's definitely gonna be some age restriction. This is not going to the YouTube Kid Act, the YouTube Kid app. All right, that was pretty easy, guys. We've got Offering or Reaper. You know, like, like I said, we have expensive cards. Reaper is kind of expensive already, and I'd rather get... Uh, we did get Energy Relic. Fuck me. So, Rooney Pyramid, bleh, not good. Eternal Feather is okay. It's good Sustain. We have Blood Vials, or we have Sustain up the wazoo, but I think I'll go for Calling Glow, guys. Be good, plus RG. Okay, so we'll move Pain ASAP. Mercury... Oh, we got... We got uh, an Energy Relic. That's something. But, you know, what's funny is that we got pain, so we're never going to have that energy. Yeah, let's remove pain. That, that's a priority. And we'll go for one elite. But I might just skip elites altogether. Depending where the deck goes, I might just skip elite altogether. So we got to get through two or three fights with pain in our deck. And there it is. Let's true grit that bad boy. ASAP. Okay. Well, I don't think you can glitch the bell anymore, but yeah, I wouldn't glitch the bell on a streak because that's pretty shitty, right? But yeah, I don't think you can glitch the bell anymore. <laughs> the worst relic in the game. I know, I would rather get any other relic than that relic. Uh, that's 24 damage. It's not good enough. Damn, it's actually really bad. So I could do power through, defend, and then just do whirlwind once. Or I could just power through with metallicize and do whirlwind for two. I think I, I think I prioritized my gold a little bit, so we're going to do this. Take the hit. We have Blood Vial. It's okay. Eh, I don't know. On second thought. Ooh, okay, it's, it's worth. I would have had lethal anyway, so if I full defended it, it would have been just as good. Another true good to manage the curses. And dual wheel is good for metallicize, right? But uh, another true grid is really good just to get consistent defense and manage the curses. Energy pot? Uh, we're gonna skip. We got disarm for this dude. Let's look for disarm. Okay, no disarm so far. You know, at the end of the day, I could just... I could just trigger all my strikes, and... I can kill this guy with Mercury Hourglass. Well, not really, because he has armor. Oh, well, there's the pain. Okay. So Whirlwind gets rid of more of his shell things. Gets rid of two shell things, but this does more damage. I like the shell things getting removed. What time is it right now for me? It's 3.30. Let's get rid of shell things again. So let's go ahead and get rid of the bash. The bash has to go. And let's go get rid of some shell things. Yeah, I'm a West Coaster. It's the first time in my life being West Coast and bludgeon kills. Headbutt, Flex, Twin Striker, Cleave. So, Headbutt has some synergy with not much of anything. I mean, I guess I can bring the True Grits back so I can consistently have that. Let's see what the boss is. The Champ. Okay, for the Champ, we want to get some kind of scaling. Whether it be the scaling in the defense side or scaling on the strength. We're definitely not there yet. I might take a Headbutt prematurely just so we can... No, we're not going to take anything premature. That never ends up well. Anything that's premature doesn't usually end up well. I think the play here is to Warwind for 20, or we True Grit and Bludgeon. I think we True Grit the Pain and Bludgeon. Mm, I don't know. You gotta be, gotta be quick with these guys. I'm a Fire Pot. Alright. I don't know. This might be a rough fight. This might be GG. This might be GG for me. We have two fire pots, I guess. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Oof. Hmm. So if I do this, he's gonna die. This is interesting. 
if I do uppercut, <laughs> this is a really awkward amount of damage because if I do uppercut here, right, he's gonna be to 4 HP, and then I could fire pot, but then I'm wasting potential damage from fire pot. But I can get the defense and pretty much defense, you know, most of the damage. If I do uppercut on him, then I get the weak and get the vulnerable. It allows me to go for lethal quicker, but then he's out of fire pot range. And then this guy is doing 18 damage, which is a lot of damage. So I think the play actually is to do fire pot, defend, defend whirlwind. I mean, I don't have to do, I can just do one whirl and it's probably good enough. And we'll take the hits just so we want to push my little, we, we, we're drawing into bludgeon, aren't we? we have a pro, there's a big chance we're drawing into bludgeon, so that was, full defend was a better play. That was a mistake. Oh well. Um, spot weakness is super good to get some scaling going. Shrug it off is super good to have more consistent defense, even though we already have like power through and true grits. Shockwave is just really good in general, just to have the weakened and the vulnerable, but I think we gotta do it for the scaling. And let's hope we get something decent here. Hmm, nah. Ah, uh, we removed the pain, that's for sure. I mean, do I have to remove the pain? Yeah, we'll remove the pain. I might, I might buy a region potion. Or we could buy armaments. Armaments could be nice. No, armaments is kind of low impact, I would say. With offering, it makes sense, because armaments, you can do offering and get a lot of upgrades. But most of our things are upgraded anyways. Are we going for an elite? That's the question. I think we're not going for an elite. So I'm going to go ahead and do a region pot. I'll do offering on this turn. Alright, so potentially this could be good for us because we have... You hope the birds end this run for us? No, don't say that. We're trying to streak. Don't say that to me. Udum, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. You just called me dumb, didn't you? You said you dumb. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, you dumb. Okay, let's do bludgeon for one, and this is true get the injury. I could do defend metallicize, but I'd rather get rid of the curse. Okay, Snego, no worries. Power through flex pommel war cry. Um, we want another power through. We have two trigger it, so the wounds are not too bad. I mean, the thing is, I skipped the Evolve, which I probably shouldn't have in retrospect, because I could have taken another Power Through, which is a high-value block for one mana, which is good when you only have three mana. Energy, rather. And uh, I can use the Evolve to not get too messed up about the wounds, and then also True Grit the wounds. I feel like we don't take the second Power Through. I think we're going to skip here. And I do think we're going to rest once. I mean, a, a part of me does want to go for the Elite, now that we... So what, what could this elite be? If it's the Book of Savvy, we got the Disarm, we have some consistent block. Damage is a little bit suspect, but we do have Inflame and Spot Weakness, so... And we have Uppercut with the Bludgeon. I mean, there's ways to do damage. Gremlin Leader, same kind of deal. Disarm, buy some time. We can have the Weakening with the Uppercut, maybe get some big hits. Not the best thing. Spot Weakness is scaling as well. And then Book of Slavers, I feel like we have some pretty good front-loaded damage, so we can probably handle that. I'm gonna skip. Whoa! So I'm so glad I went for this event because if this is Necronomicon, no rise. You know, that's really good. I I'll take it because no rise can give me so many things to make this deck. Got ice cream. Okay, guys, I'm gonna, with that ice cream, not only am I gonna jump for joy, I'm gonna be right back, use the bathroom. Let's just sink in right now how this deck, in a matter of two, I would say, what, like two things, uh, events in a chest, completely got turned upside down, like Philadelphia. West Philadelphia, rather. I'll be right back. Okay. So what were the questions? Welcome back, guys. You're asking about No Rise? Yes, yeah, No Rise act allows you to add a card at the end of your turn. So what that does for me is it allows me to look for Limit Break. It allows me to look for... Um, do I rest again? No. Let's do Offering. It allows me to look for things... To help, like disarm, more block, more card draw, demon form, corruption, and we're gonna skip the elite. I think maybe we can manage the elite at this point, though, right? Does this run just die to this elite? I feel like we have a good amount of relics right now. I feel like our run's not quite there yet. I'm gonna skip the elite. I mean, yeah. Let's just see how Nerise feels first. Let's take it for a spin, because right now, I'm not quite convinced just yet. 
Let's go ahead and do region pot. Uh, oh, skippy, skippy. So the biggest thing that what the Nirise is gonna do for me with the, uh, for against the champ is gonna help me find limit breaks with my already existing strength, flame bear. Is Sharon's a new relic? I think it's one of those relics we get later on. Uh, let's look for. We have barricade, right? So we want to just thin the deck out and use barricade. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get a Reaper. I know it's a little lame, guys, but we're in Century 15. We gotta play. We gotta play all the tactics in the book. Where's the barricade? You found a sneak apparition combo. Tools of trade makes it so that there doesn't shoot exactly. So if you have good discard, then uh, apparitions that events or whatever is actually really good. If you have good discard, because then you can prevent the ethereal. Where's barricade? I'm very confused. Just bear with me, guys. It's gotta get a good Reaper so we can go ahead and get some more up. There we go. Is feed better than Reaper here? I mean. It might be. We'll go for feed. You know, what I want now is an armament. So now I can, if I can get armaments, there it is. If I can get armaments in my actual deck, which I missed the opportunity, I can start upgrading the cards that I get from, oh, we have feed here. Okay, there we go, four HP. True Grit, Body Slam, Juggernaut. Uh, Body Slam seems good. Now that we have no rise, it'd be a good thing to have in our deck. Cause I feel like we might be getting barricade pretty often. I mean, Trugit seems to be pretty good as well, because we can thin our deck like crazy and then just let No Rise give us cards for free. I like Body Slam. Reaper. Okay, we have a Reaper in the deck, so we're going to try to get a, a full heal here, because this is going to be a rough fight, I would say. I mean, there's a chance that this guy just kicks my ass in general, right? Okay. You know, we're going to get a, a nice little heal here. I think this is the heal, right? That's... It's good enough. Funeral Pain is something I really want in my deck, because it's upgraded with, uh, I'll take the Funeral Pain. Okay, let's look for Impervious, Rampage, Metallicize, Entrench, True Grits, Bludgeoned, another Funeral Pain, which would be upgraded. So that's Funeral Pain Plus, that's Metallicize Plus, and that's Rampage, or Impervious. So here's the thing, guys, or Seeing Red, wait, let's think about Seeing Red for a second. Because of Ice Cream, things like Seeing Red are amazing, I can get the energy curve going. But is it better than Funeral Pain? Because we have two True Grits. I feel like it's probably not. The one thing that I'm really considering is getting Rampage. Because all I need is Rampage. And I can kill the champ with Rampage. And we thin out the deck with the True Grits. And just do Rampage scaling. And then just one shot the champ. Pretty much. But I feel like there's not higher impact than a, a Funeral P Fetal Pain. This is a fight where I can't do uh, Reaper scaling here. I think Armus is pretty decent. Because if you're going to be using things from... No rise, armaments can upgrade them for you. I think that's pretty interesting. And we'll rest here, even though I kind of want to upgrade armaments. So, really, no rise is going to have to carry us here, pretty much. So, I could just do power through true. So, I want to save as much mana as possible. I do want to do the weaken and maybe do the weaken and true grit and not do it in flame. So, we'll get rid of the defend, I suppose. Or maybe armaments. And flame seems pretty decent because that gets the things going. We'll get rid of body slam. Fine. Exhum could be interesting. All right, but we're gonna have to go ahead and find something from No Rise and just try to survive here. Let's go ahead and do spot weakness. Get some scaling going. I'm gonna use flex ancient pot too. Flame Bearer is fine. So let's find things like Barricade. Let's find oh, I didn't have to use that, that last defense. Now I'm not getting any energy. I'm going to take the hit here. I'm taking the hit. Once get, things get rolling, we're going to be fine. You know, what I could do is just build up Whirlwind energy and just one-shot him with Whirlwinds. I'm actually going to do Exhum Disarm again, or Offering again. I think Disarm again. So, Exhum again. Okay, this is interesting, guys. I think what I could do is actually just build up a lot of energy and go for the Ice Cream Whirlwinds. I think it might be the play. We're going to Exhum Disarm again.
Barricade. Okay, we also got another disarm, but I'd rather get Barricade first. So now this is actually out of control. We have three disarms on him, and we got the Barricade. And we do the Inflame. So now we're just gonna be... This is gonna be crazy, guys. We're just gonna keep a lot of block up. We get a lot of block, right? We'll do Evolve just so we can have that power for the wounds. We're gonna try to disarm as much as possible. And now that I have Evolve, I don't mind doing power through. And what we could do is build ice cream, build energy for the ice cream and the whirlwind, or we could just get some kind of strength scaling and, and go for the one shot. Let's keep him weakened. Do Rampage. Rampage could be his own skin. Actually, Rampage is kind of bad. I, I, I think it's a little slow. Go for big bodies in them too. It's always a consideration. Second win just to clear out the deck a little bit and get even more block. Clean out the deck aggressively. Yeah, I might just I might get rid of Rampage. I just feel like Rampage is not the play. So this is what I mean by doing second wind aggressively, right? We could do Rampage. As long as he has Metallicize, we can do Rampage here and there willy-nilly. Body Slam is great, because now we have a lot of block. So maybe Body Slam could do some good stuff for us. Is it worth it? I want to hold on. We're going to wait. Another Funeral Pain. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. This is why Iron Clyde could be kind of nutty. Because of the barricade, right? Yeah, we're going to build as much block as possible. We're just going to go for the barricade kill. That's just the play. Let's get rid of the bash. Dark Embrace? Sure, why not? Why not do it? He got 90 strength train because I did disarm, exhum, disarm, exhum, disarm. Dark Embrace. And let's go ahead and upgrade the second wind. We don't... We don't need spot weakness at this point. <laughs> Impervious. But now you come around, Rishika. Where you been? Let's get rid of the bludgeon. I don't think we don't, we don't need the flame barrier at this point. Uh, we could do body slam now. We're not going to die if we do body slam now. But we can prolong this a little bit more. Corruption as well. Corruption's nutty because I just play that and play all my skills with Dark Embrace, and then we go for the kill. <laughs> Is this stupid? Probably a little bit. A little bit stupid. But we always get new cards, right? Nah, I'm just kidding, man. How you doing, Mexico? Welcome back. <laughs> oh, we got body sim kill. Demon form, impervious feed juggernaut. Um, demon form seems to be okay, just to have that scaling on the back ends. But you know what I could do is just look for. No rise and get demon form from there. I mean, we already have spell weakness, but that's not nearly as good as de just having demon form on the back end. I might just do demon form just to have it, and then we can always look for reaper and stuff. I mean, pervious is really good too because Re pervious buys us time. We'll do demon form. It's upgraded. Snekoi Kursky Market Pain. Wow. Okay, is Snekoi bad here? Snekoi might be bad. But since we have ice cream, whatever we don't use, it gets left over. I think Sneko is a little crazy. I'm going to go for Curse Key, actually. I mean, we already have so many curses in our deck. Why not get Curse Key? Awaken one. Okay, so the Awaken one, kind of bad for me. Because I had double funeral pain. I have demon form. What we're going to have to do, though, is do demon uh, disarm, disarm, disarm again on the Awaken one. Just make sure she has no strength. And then from there, we'll go ahead and um, do whatever we want to do, right? Get barricade with... No rise, body slam, whatever. We can just do some crazy stuff. As long as we survive the first couple turns and get the disarm. 
then we're in the clear. We can go ahead and do two elites. I feel like the giant hand doesn't punish me too much. I mean, giant hand does punish me a little bit if I don't get lucky. Hey, thanks for the follow, Riku. Uh, I didn't get an energy relic, so Bell was the best thing. It was between Runic Pyramid... Runic Pyramid, Eternal Feather, and Calling Bell. I ended up taking Calling Bell. I've, I've, been, I've been a fan of Calling Bell. Outscale the Awakened One? We could outscale the Awakened One because... Awakened One doesn't scale unless you play powers, right? Especially in the first form. So if you just disarm the first form a lot, you can get anything you need from No Rise. Maybe get a big fat barricade, stack it up to 999, and then go for the kill whenever you feel ready. You can just true get your whole deck down so you have body slam, body slam, and just win. So it's just about surviving the first couple turns. Um, with that being said, I think we don't go for too many elites. I mean, our deck is pretty bad, uh, pretty good, so I can go for probably... But what relics could it give us? It could give us... Gambling ship to help us find stuff. Let's go this route. If I can do the charm stuff again exactly, then the Awakening one won't be hard. I should have been attacking. I should have been attacking. That was stupid of me. We got a Reaper. I think we might do a Reaper on this fight. But this, this, I don't know why we're doing Offering either. Because Offering... It's okay. Okay, it's fine. We already have to feed on paints. Why not get more? I could look for double feed here. But that's a little crazy. It's a little greedy, isn't it? But greedy's not a bad thing. Sometimes, you know, you gotta feed to win. If this is a such a good scene, I've seen people take hours through the runs. I can take a little bit extra time to for feed. Why not? Why not? Seeing red, no downside. Gives us block and it gives us ice cream. Oh, you know, actually, I, I don't have free time because... That damn, um, the Mercury Hourglass is cutting them. So I have one more turn to find feed here. Yep, alright, well that guy's dead. I still have a lot, I can find feed on this guy. Fuck it. All that time, no, it was for nothing. Havoc, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Phenol Pain. <laughs> so Phenol Pain is not bad, right? Because it's just... We already have two of them, and we don't want another power. We could do Lantern. Because Lantern's not bad with Ice Cream. If we don't happen to use the energy in the first turn, it carries over. I think Shrugged might be better. Or even removal, like removing a strike. There is not a maximum. Somebody did it and they did get up to 10,000. So I don't, it doesn't seem to be, a, there doesn't appear to be a maximum. Unless you want to spend days going to 10,000. Shrug it off for Lantern. Lantern could help me get through the first couple turns, I guess, against the Awakened One. Do we need to shrug it off? Are we struggling finding defense? I mean, we have two true grits, three defense, and that's about it. Maybe shrug it off would help us. We have an offering to help us find stuff. Maybe we just remove a strike. I'm not even sure here. How important is the first turn uh, energy? How important is that? I'm gonna move strike. Things really good with ice cream. It is good with ice cream because it's like even if you don't happen to use it, then whatever you have an extra energy to start things off. We'll take it. Fine. I think removing the strike was probably just as good. Upgrade a card. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade the armaments. Bludgeon. I 
put power through, but I probably didn't need that. All right, let's go ahead and do demon form here. And demon form is a little slow, but. I should be striking. I should be striking. Pummel. Perfect. Gonna be lethal pummel right here. Shockwave. Uh, you know, Shockwave is not bad to get more weakened. And I, I like Shockwave. Remove all curses. Guys, I'm telling you, when you have two or more curses, I swear this event comes up more often. Every time I have two more curses, I get this event. Yes. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and upgrade. I would say we upgrade the body slam. Yeah, let's upgrade the body slam. Fire breathing to get destroyed by the awakened one. I thought about that. I thought that played through for like maybe like two seconds, and for some reason I thought it wasn't good. Let's get the weaken. Impervious. Impervious. Uh, we can, now, this is a fight where we can get Reaper, so we don't have to go ahead and... Uh, we can get Reaper on this fight for sure. Okay. We'll find a Reaper eventually, guys. Don't worry. It's gonna happen. I love your emotes. Very cute. Some cute emotes. Damn. I'm actually gonna just give up, which would be really bad, because I've done... I've already gone more than halfway, so to give up now would be... A very bad character trait right now. Entrench. Okay. Good call on the entrench. True grit the true grit. We could. Yeah, I was going to give up, but I figured, I mean, I've done this much. So I can't just give up now. I'm 107 energy in. Get exhumed for feed. I could do exhumed for feed, but feed is really not a full heal, which I'm looking forward to. Because I'm going for an elite, and I want to make sure this elite is not going to kick my ass. Reaper shouldn't be that hard to find. Grab internal, eternal blade since there's an extra chance for it. Very true. I like the way you think. Don't hold me to my word here, but if it doesn't happen in the next five cards, we're gonna call and tell. That's one card. I might I might say that now, but end up still persevering. That's two. It seems like it's bugs, huh? Oh, that's when I'm trying to give up on you, New Rise. You give me what I want. Oh, you're a little tease. I see you. Alright, so now we got to give them all full life. Okay. Now, now this is fine. Alright, alright. Gotta get that guy to full life. And then we got a big fat reaper coming in. That's a full life. That's a full heal. Okay. Uh, Armament's heavy blade drop kick. So, here's what I'm thinking. I think we take another armament just so we can upgrade the things that come from No Rise more often and probably edge out the victory against the Awakened One. Or maybe we just don't, because we already have one. I think one's enough. I mean, what about Whirlwind number two to kill the adds? And what about Heavy Blade Dropkick? Uh, I think we're good. We're going for an Elite here. Hope this Elite doesn't kick my ass. I'm going to take this Red Skull. Ah! What did I get in return? Clumsy's not too bad. Oh, we got demon form. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and look for barricade. I need a barricade in my actual deck. Oh, hello, dude. That is kind of insane, the amount of damage you're doing right now. Can you not do that? Reaper? Fiendfire. Fiendfire. We could Reaper to get healing again. We might as well take anyways. Oh, this guy is a pain in the ass, isn't he? Of course he's not. Guys. G. Effin. 
G. I talked about what I needed, and the one thing I didn't say is a damn dead branch. Good game. And I have no rise. Get out of here. Oh my god. Wow. You know what, Silent? I mean, Ironclad, you have a way of spoiling me. You really do. It seems like he's got... Ooh, let's start it off. Start the party. Wait, where did I get corruption? Wait, where did the corruption come from? Did I actually pick... I don't remember picking that. It just came out of nowhere? Oh my god, this is always so fun. We love this, guys. We love this. Oh, corrupt from Dead Branch. <laughs> Dead Branch, you're hilarious. Let's get some defense first so that we don't... Uh... <laughs> I can't even get defense first, really. Doesn't matter because he dies. Full life. Corruption. What is this luck? How are you going to give me Dead Branch Corruption back to back? I'm sorry, guys. I guess that is, the game just wants... Like... I promise I didn't... I mean... Guys, don't be mad at me. I didn't ask for this. There's a chance we still die if we don't get it in time. Our deck's a, big, it's a fat deck. It's a fat boy. It's a fat boy right now. Oh, never mind. We got body slam Clash. Never mind. Clash saves the day. Reaper again. Yes. I made Slay the Spire. <laughs> Let's look for Reaper. Or we could just... You know, using all these powers against the Awakened One is pretty bad. I think for the Awakened One, we just want to use Corruption Death Branch, and that's it. Reaper, Exhum. Alright, that's good. Wait, I should kill you now. My bad. Yeah, I'm full life. Do I have a sub? I'm not. I'm not even. I haven't become a partner yet, so I have to get a sub emote. But I definitely wanted to get one. Disarm plus. You are so nice to me. That's exactly what I need. Don't tell me you're gonna give me a relic. Uh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. I'm, uh, okay. All right, game. All right. That's all right. It doesn't. Sure, I'll take the gold. Let's upgrade the first disarm. Oh, we already upgraded the first disarm. Let's upgrade the whirlwind so that we um I'm not sure what anything really matters here. I can do e emotes to affiliate. Hey, what's up, Daniel? How you doing, man? Do we do demon form? I feel like we do. I know that's giving him strength. Mm. Fetal pain feed. Ah, uh, do we want to use fetal pain? I think we just want disarms. Let's see. Got to be careful here. And flame, we don't want to do. Okay. Scene red's fine because that gives us energy and it gives us dead branch. Uh, we can do Shockwave Phenol Pain now. I don't know if that's worth it. At least one Phenol Pain. Impervious. Okay, so I think one Phenol Pain is okay. Two of them. It's a little excessive, maybe. Let's push for damage just because I don't want to be going through this too much. It gives me stress. And if I don't have consistent defense, I might just die. Disarm helps a lot. That's a lot of damage. How much damage is this? That's 120, 130, that's Do we waste it? I feel like we push for damage because we don't want to go through through too much heartache here. And we're going to have the corruption out. So that means things are going to start getting nutty. 
This is when things get nutty, right? This is, I'm assuming when the nuttiness starts to happen. Exhume for disarm again. And now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep disarming this girl until, until we find barricade. And then we're gonna just barricade and get to full life. And I'm gonna keep them weakened. I can't do that, never mind. All right. Fight's won. The fight is won. We got disarm again. So the fight looks like it's won. We just gotta find, um, uh, Disarm again. Okay, that's perfect. Gotta find the barricade, and then we're good. So this is how we're gonna win this, guys. Keep them weakened. No need. Did I just give it a gender? I did give it a gender. I'm not politically correct. Shrug it off. Defend. Let's just shoot the strikes. Okay, that's fine. We can do offering. I don't need to be playing this conservatively. I got barricades, so now I feel really okay. So now I feel like I can do whatever the hell I want. Now, now, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go in. Now it's gonna happen. Let's go. I'm gonna use. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. I missed it, but uh, I appreciate that. We can get feed on the Awakened one. Let's get some more block first before we do anything. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and win the fight. Entrench. Okay, we can go win the fight now. I can keep doing this. Okay. Funeral pain. Let's go. GG, guys. If we lose this... Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what to say to you guys if I lose this. It's not possible. It can't be possible to lose this. It can't be possible. GG! Alright guys, 2-0. And I'll tell you this, I'm feeling good because we're going back to the silence where I feel a little more comfortable, oddly enough. But when you get games like Dead Branch Corruption, like, everything feels kind of like you want to do Ironclad over and over again.